It's 2018. My school laptop has decided that it wishes to be painfully slow and make completing even the most basic of tasks impossibly difficult. Because it is a school laptop, it is also severely locked down and half of the pre-installed software doesn't even work. My frustrations with this machine mounted and I decided it was time to bypass the school laptop and get my own thin and light computer to get me through school. My search started with new computers, but ultimately I didn't think I could afford anything decent. All cheapish laptops came with Intel Celerons, the same processor that severely underperforms in my school laptop. So after much searching, I decided I would turn to the used market, something I had never done before. I spent quite a few weeks scrolling through Gumtree looking for the perfect deal. Unfortunately, most people selling computers in my area seem to believe that anything with the word Apple in it should fetch a minimum of $800 despite being from 2011. I nearly gave in and I decided I would persist with my school laptop until I came across an ad for an 11 inch 2013 MacBook Air for $400. This was perfect as it was small, light and best of all ran macOS, my favourite operating system for productivity. So without hesitation, I messaged the seller organized the time and bought the machine. And here it is, a 2013 MacBook Air, powered by a dual core 1.3 gigahertz i5, four gigabytes of RAM, and currently running macOS Mojave. The body does have a few minor scuffs on it, but for $400, I honestly can't complain. When I originally got the device, the battery inside it was also fairly worn out. I used it for about four months before deciding to upgrade it which did raise the total price of the laptop to around $500. It wasn't that the old battery was necessarily terrible, I just knew that I was going to be giving this laptop a hammering, so I thought for longevity purposes it was a necessity. So how does a 2013 MacBook Air perform in 2019? In short, incredibly well. Despite owning a much more powerful editing computer, this laptop is my weapon of choice when it comes to any not too intensive task. For its age, performance on this machine is, in my opinion, crazy fast. You'd think that for 2013, this thing would be slow, but the 128GB SSD in this computer does not reflect its age. The machine boots up quickly, applications open in a decent amount of time, and just overall, performance is much more than I would have ever expected for a computer that is now 6 years old. To be fair, I don't use this machine for anything crazy intensive. I wouldn't even bother trying to run games on it, nor do I think it would be cut out for video editing. Something that I may test in a future video. But for basic schoolwork tasks, such as Word, PowerPoint and browsing the web, this thing is fantastic, and way better than the laggy, jittery mess that was my school laptop. One of the best things about this laptop has to be its keyboard. All new MacBooks come with the butterfly mechanism keys which I find horrible to type on and are plagued with issues. This however has the old style keyboard that has a perfect layout and a decent amount of travel. I find it sad that Apple doesn't actually make a laptop of this size anymore with the closest product being the now discontinued 12 inch standard MacBook. I guess this can be mostly attributed to the prevalence of laptops however. Most tasks that I complete on this machine could be done on a tablet, however, I just prefer the form factor of laptops and typing on a physical keyboard. So, what are my closing thoughts on this computer, and should you buy one? Well, the answer to the former is that this computer is fantastic and an awesome little machine to carry around and be productive with, but should you buy one? That depends on the price you can find one for and how long you expect it to last. Buying used laptops can always present itself as a risk, and in my case, it's fair to say that I got lucky. You never know if the seller is going to give you a dodgy computer and you could end up throwing your money away. But if the laptop is in good condition and nothing is wrong with it, the next thing to wonder about is support. This laptop will get the next update to macOS Catalina, but after that, the fate of this computer will remain uncertain. If running a slightly older operating system doesn't bug you, then by all means, you can get a good deal from an older MacBook, but if full support and longevity is at the top of your list, it may be wise to look elsewhere. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching.